the Nintendo Switch 2 Pro Controller makes promises it cannot keep. To start this teardown, the very first thing I have to do is to pour some isopropyl alcohol along the seams of the faceplate. This isn't a great start. Not only did Nintendo hide the screws under the faceplate, but reassembling the controller means having to source and replace all of the adhesive. These seven screws are securing a second layer of protective plastic. We're finally inside the controller now, and unlike other controllers I've seen, the thumb grips on the Switch 2 Pro controller need an uncomfortable amount of force to remove. Once those are out, I'm gonna go around with a fixed blade driver and remove the topmost recessed screws. I'm trying to get to the battery and I can't do that without removing the main board first. Finally, after all this disassembly, I can remove the body of the controller. On the reverse side, I can see the battery, which, contrary to everything else so far, is very easy to disconnect and remove. And just like the batteries, getting to the joysticks is a pain in the ass. Digging even deeper into the device reveals a silver lining. These low-profile sticks are screwed in, making them far easier to remove and replace than their larger, soldered cousins in the first-generation Switch Pro controller. But that sliver of good news is all I have for you, because the downside of these low-profile sticks is that it seems they have a higher propensity to fail sooner and more often than the larger pots we've seen in standard controllers. And just to confirm, these are potentiometer sticks. We have a slightly redesigned shell that's a little more compact than the original Switch sticks, but the wipers and resistive film are dead giveaways that this is a drift-prone potentiometer stick. Head on over to our channel to see the whole teardown.